This video is about simulation in EdgeGum, but it's a simulation that you can use for um, in this instruction tab, um, not the full uh, collision detection simulation. It's just really to see where the tools are going and use it sort of on the fly as you're working through your uh, program. So if I right click where it says finish turn there and say um, and click simulate, you'll see it's going around the shape and this arrow down the bottom here you can pull it back and forwards to go up and down and round your shape so you can go forward or backwards and the bottom one there is your um, simulation speed and um, effectively it's using the feeds and speeds that you've put actually into the program but if you press this constant one then it will it will use a constant speed so everything that you do will then be the same um, so if I simulate that again you'll be able to see it going around that shape um, and this if you look at this here this number you can make it uh, like twice as fast or even like four times as fast uh, you've got forward and backward keys and you've got like a rewind button so that takes it forwards I've speeded that right up and that would take it to the end of the simulation and you can move it round and this one takes it to the beginning and as you're going around let's take this back to one as you're going around this shape um, you could actually stop it so you could get so far like this and just click that stop button to stop it um, and as I say that constant is constant now the real reason why I made this video is because every now and then I know for a fact that you've got a zoom control on this and I could never quite remember how you use it and I thought if I make a video of this uh, then I'll know how to do it next time so it's going to be useful for you as well hopefully and the way that you do the zoom is if you look down there you can see a zoom there but if you if you actually press I'm just going to turn that off for now if you actually move to the area that you want to see say for example that bit there I just want to see that that's all I'm interested in what you do is at the beginning of that the bit you want you press down your shift key so you hold down your shift key and then you move to the next bit and you see that blue line but what's happened now is that is my actual uh, what I'm going to see so when you actually play it now you'll see it's only playing that section which is brilliant because you, you don't have to worry about all the rest and obviously it's all broken right down and if you want to blow this right up you can see it just that area that's something so that's your zoom and if you just switch that off there click that again that just takes that off and anytime you just press and hold your shift key you can get that area now I don't know if you noticed there but you can see that gap as it's coming up there and then it comes back on and that's because if you look in my cycle I've actually put no compensation if I change that to path comp which means it's using edge cams edge cams actually creating that offset I'd have to run this again so I'm going to say simulate and what I'm going to do exactly the same again I'm going to move to that area that I'm interested in round about here and I'm going to press and hold down the shift key see the blue bit is what I'm interested in there so that's my bit and I can move backwards and forwards around that little bit press that zoom thing and then just move forwards and backwards and now can you see now you can see that it's going it's actually following the shape because it's using cutter comp and that way it's got no comp that is actually what you would get if you if you program that um, because it's not using cutter comp so this as I say this simulation is very very useful because you can still see what your tools are actually doing in the tool path and you can blow it right up and have a good look at it um, it's not going to collision detect or anything like that so it's not looking at anything whether it's cutting metal or what it's doing it's not interesting it's just showing you that cutter path and you can see your if I just take this down a bit you can see it's your full tool so there you go that's how you use the simulation in